Welcome back to another Funakoshi webinar. In this presentation, I'll introduce an innovative new tool to visualize intracellular polyamines in live cells. I'll talk about what are polyamines, the conventional detection methods, our novel reagent polyamine red, and applications. Traditionally, the detection of polyamines requires analytical methods such as HPLC with polyamine standards. There has never been an easy and simple detection reagent for polyamines in cells up to this point. Our new reagent, Polyamine Red, is the world's first reagent for imaging intracellular polyamines, specifically in live cells. What are polyamines? Polyamines are central metabolites which have linear alkyl structure with two or more amines. Polyamines exist in all living organisms like bacteria, animals, and plants with high concentration, have polycationic properties, and show various biological functions. For example, polyamines interact with DNA to regulate gene expression and RNA to stabilize mRNA and translation, and also anionic protein to change its activities. Polyamines also function as signaling molecule and play a role in maintaining cellular oxidative homeostasis. Conventional methods for detecting polyamines are HPLC-based analysis. However, HPLC has some issues, such as pretreatment, standards must be provided, low throughput, and cannot be applied to intracellular polyamine detection. So a cell-based assay with easy and high throughput procedures are desirable to investigate further biological functions of polyamines in cells. Our novel reagent, Polyamine Red, solves many issues compared to the conventional HPLC method. Polyamine Red is the world's first reagent for imaging intracellular polyamines easily without sample pretreatment or cell lysis. Polyamine Red specifically targets and labels a Tama fluorescent red dye to polyamines, but does not label amino acids monoamines, or secondary amines. So this is the principle on how the stain works. Polyamine red penetrates cell membrane and reacts to intracellular polyamines specifically. Once the reagent reacts with intracellular polyamines, a conjugate is formed and the conjugate is trapped inside of cells. So only intracellular polyamines can be detected. Here are some application examples. One application is visualization of intracellular polyamines. This enables us to observe localization of polyamines. Another application is semi-quantification of polyamines. This enables us to compare total polyamine amount among cells. Last application example is cancer cells will upregulate polyamines compared to normal cells, and polyamine red allows cancer cell visualization. Here are some research fields associated with polyamines. Polyamine red is suitable for oxidative stress research because polyamine functions as an antioxidant. Also suitable for pathological research. In cancer cells, polyamines are known to promote cell proliferation abnormally due to an increase in ODC enzyme activity, resulting in upregulated expression of polyamines, making polyamines a cancer marker. Also a good tool for neurological diseases like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, ALS, and other neural diseases. For inflammation research and aging research, in cardiovascular research, the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects attribute to polyamines can play an important role in the prevention of chronic inflammatory pathologies. In diabetes research, glycation the covalent attachment of sugar to a protein is a diabetes marker and polyamines can block glycation reaction. Here's the product information of polyamine red. It comes in 0.5 milligrams powder and you must resolubilize the powder into 100% DMSO. The floor for is Tamar red with the excitation of 560 nanometers and the emissions of 585 nanometers, and a rhodamine filter must be used to visualize red fluorescence. Using polyamine red to stain cells is an easy procedure using this general protocol. First, 
you prepare 10 to 30 micromolar polyamine red in cell culture medium. You remove cell culture medium from the cells, wash cells twice with PBS, and add polyamine red containing medium to cells. You then incubate for a minimum of 10 minutes. After a 10 minute incubation, you wash the cells with PBS three times to remove unreacted polyamine red stain. And finally, you fix cells and you visualize using rhodamine filters. As I've already explained, polyamine red has specificity for polyamine species such as putrescine, spermidine, and spermine. On the other hand, polyamine red reacts minimally to amino acids and to monoamines. In this table, we show polyamine red specificity. As you can see here in the red color shaded area, polyamine red reacts to polyamine species with a high percentage, but it has low reaction rates to monoamine and amino acids. Here is experimental data using cell lines. This is intracellular polyamine imaging in both cancer and non-cancer cells with 30 micromolar of polyamine red and DAPI stain. As you can see here in the middle row, the red fluorescence indicates polyamine was visually detected in three cancer cell lines by polyamine red stain. On the other hand, incubation with non-cancer cell lines showed polyamine red has little fluorescence. As previously mentioned, polyamines are upregulated in cancer cells, which may serve as a biomarker between non-cancer and cancer cells. DAPI is a nuclear stain and will stain all cell types, including cancer and non-cancer cells. Since non-cancer cells have small amount of polyamines present, resulting in little fluorescence by polyamine red, the DAPI stain was primarily used as a control to show the presence of cells for non-cancer cell lines as shown in the merge image. In summary, polyamine red is a novel research tool for visualizing polyamines in live cells. Polyamine red specifically detects intracellular polyamines with an easy protocol without any pretreatment or cell lysis. Target customers are researchers for cancer, inflammation, aging, neuronal diseases, and oxidative stress research. I'd like to quickly introduce you another related product. Acrolein is known as a high toxicity molecule and relates to oxidative stress. We also offer Acrolein Red is the world's first reagent for detecting cell-based acrolein detection reagent with an easy method. Thanks for your time listening to this presentation. You may download the manual from websites for additional information. For Japan researchers, you may go to funakoshi.co.jp's website. For the United States and Canada, you may go to diagnosing.com's website. For all the countries, please contact your local distributor.